Hey everybody, Nettie Owens here, and today I have with me Joey Held. Um, I'm so excited to bring him here today. I'm going to tell you a little bit about his story, and we're going to be talking a lot about story as we continue our discussion on what businesses need to know right now, and today what businesses need to know right now about storytelling. So Joey is a writer, podcaster, and musician. I love that fantastic combination. <laughs> Um, always creating, like that's what that says in my mind. Exactly. He gives people the tools to tell better stories. He shares those stories as well as tips on podcasting, writing, and entrepreneurship on his website, Good People, Cool Things. Just sounds amazing. <laughs> he hopes the site serves as inspiration for creatives to do their own cool thing, which I, I would be intrigued. I would say yes, that's probably the case. Um, so we're going to be talking about storytelling in the from the perspective of using it to promote your brand. And I think this shift to storytelling is kind of, I mean, it's not new, new, like it's been happening over the last couple of years, but it's this move from just uh, selling people on a thing to telling a story and kind of bringing people along uh, for the ride. So from your, what you're, from your perspective, why do you feel like storytelling is so important? Why has it started dominating the, the way of marketing these days? Well, I think part of it is just with how many products and services there are out there. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it's it's easier than ever to work remotely, as we're all seeing in our our Zoom and our crazy uh, social distancing beards that we have just let <laughs> right. grow to the outrageous beard, lengths. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's it's wonderful. A lot <laughs> lot more gray than I uh, was expecting, but such is life. <laughs> I'm um, so but... sorry. I think that wasn't too bad of a realization. Okay, it's, like, very, it's very distinguished. <laughs> I knew I knew I had gray. It was fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, with with so many different options out there, you just need to be relatable and transparent and inspiring to get people uh, interested in your product or service. And if you're just immediately shouting like, "Hey, look at this!" at them, that's that's not usually the way to do it. You want to find a connection with them. And a lot of times that is just sharing your story and, and how you got to where you were now and started your own business and the things that you've seen along the way. I'm curious, you know, okay, so I, I have a feeling that some businesses are going to be listening like, look, where I got, how I got to where I am right now doesn't relate to the things that I sell. Like, why would somebody want to hear that's my transformation story if I'm not a business coach or, I'm, you know, like, what if I'm selling... Uh, computer repair like how is that going to translate in and in, in a story why would somebody want to listen to that again it just goes back to that being relatable I mean mm -hmm. how many times have you gone to a presentation and whether you know in person or you're watching something on TV and the speaker gives a story of sipping uh, you know margaritas uh, on top of I don't know the Empire State Building with uh, multiple billionaires just right. laughing, you're, you're passing caviar yeah, around, that. having a great time. Yes. Yeah. And it's like, okay, that like immediately I'm disconnected from you and I'm probably gonna tune out to what you actually came here to say because that story is just not relatable. And I'm right. I'm not gonna be, I'm like, okay, so you just have a totally different life. Like this doesn't apply to me. Mm -hmm. uh, and even if how you got to where you are doesn't necessarily relate to your business, you can still, st still share stories from that business too, like mm. of someone coming in and, you know, maybe if it's computer repair, they had no idea what they were doing. They had a term paper due the next day and they were just panicking. They were sobbing and you were able to help them uh, out of that situation. That's I'm not based that on a true right story. I could totally feel the I know. With that right I know. <laughs> that, that might, that hasn't happened to me. I maybe had a roommate in college where that was, a, a, you know, pulling some inspiration from there, but mm -hmm. you can, you can certainly find stories uh, throughout your business, even if, how you got to become a business owner wasn't necessarily what your business ended up being. Mm, that's really, that's, uh, I think that's really a good distinction. And, um, and that telling the stories of your clients or your prospects is equally powerful. It sounds like it's equally powerful. Absolutely. It sounds like yeah. a source of inspiration. Um, so what should you look for in trying to share your message through storytelling? Well, you definitely want to, I, I like to say that, each uh, podcast episode I do, and really any article, any kind of story I'm telling, should aim to either inspire, educate, entertain, or all three. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I look for 
when I'm. Yeah, do you give yourself a gold story. star when you're like, I did them all in one story? <laughs> no, but I think I might need to start doing it. Get, uh, I get a nice so. little sticker collection going for That's the wall. Right. Um, but yeah, like any story should do one of those three things. Otherwise, mm. you might just be rambling a little bit. And like those mm. stories can be fun too. It's, it, you know, sometimes you just need to get something off your chest. But as far as advancing your brand and your message, you want to educate, inspire, or entertain. Okay. Or all three and get a gold star. And get a gold star. Absolutely. <laughs> I might need to just get sheets of gold stars to start sending <laughs> up people so they can track their progress. Um, so you, you go through this process. Your story inspires, educates, or entertains. And how does that then translate? And like, okay, your, your brand is getting well known. Is there a bridge to, uh, to your storytelling into somebody wanting to buy from you? I mean, because I have a few feeling that some business owners are thinking, okay, I just, you know, that sounds great. I just don't have time for it. Like, how is this going to help people want to buy from me? I. Uh Again, I, I'm harping on this a lot, but the relatability aspect is really mm -hmm. big. You know, when if customers have an option for uh, any type of business, they're going to look around and they're going to be like, okay, which one appeals the most to me from from that storytelling perspective? Um, mm -hmm. Sure, some might just exclusively look at price, but I think in a lot of cases, they're looking for that connection, and it's like, okay, this person clearly is going to the trouble to share their story to share how this could help me uh, instead of just immediately throwing it in my face. I mm -hmm. remember a colleague of mine way back in the day uh, likened it to if you were on the street and you passed by someone and immediately just started yelling, hey, buy my product. This is great. Get this, get this. Like no one's going to do that. But if you start a conversation with them of like, you know, if, you, if you're doing uh, like car stereo repairs or something, start off mm -hmm. asking them what kind of music they like, uh, you know, what kind of car they drive. And you build that connection and then you can move into the, the selling phase. Well, I'm here and you were saying this, you know, it makes you relatable. It builds the relationship. Like it's, it's that I'm not just going to start yelling at you by my stuff, but I'm going to inquire about you. I'm going to tell you about me. We're going to see if there's some synergy and that can all happen just in, in the marketing that you put out that shares stories. So one of the ways that you do that is through podcasting and, um, and how exactly does that work? How do businesses use podcasts? you know, to share their story and promote their products and services? Or how can they do that? Yeah, and it's n not really different from writing an article or doing a case set or anything like that. You often just have a, a longer platform to do it in. So you can get a little more into the nitty gritty. Maybe, you know, you were a week away from having to declare bankruptcy, uh, but mm -hmm. you were able to to push through that challenge. First and we got the term paper that then gets turned <laughs> in. And now the bankruptcy, like I'm, I'm feeling all about overcoming the stories. challenges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's just a great way uh, to be able to share a story kind of in a longer form format. I know this one is a nice little quick hitting uh, conversation mm -hmm. that we're having, but a lot of podcasts, you kind of can go into the, the details of that. Uh, and you get the nice conversation with the host as well. And mm -hmm. they're, uh, you know, if they're a good host like you are, Nettie, they will That's ask good. some good follow up questions uh, and, and really help steer the conversation in a great way. And you can share stories of, hey, this is how my product or service has helped. And honestly, a lot of people just like hearing voices instead of mm -hmm. just, hey, this is a nameless, faceless uh, company right. that I'm buying from. I, I now know the owner, uh, manager, whatever the case may be. And I, I have that kind of rapport with them. I think you're right, you know, because when we listen to radio, when we listen to podcasts, we bring them into some of the most intimate parts of our lives. They're driving with us on errands. There might be, you know, in the bedroom when we're folding clothes and they're, you know, when we're working out, they're with us. And so you're right. We do feel like we build a relationship with that person on the other end just from from listening. That that to me strikes me as one of the most powerful parts of sharing your story um, through a podcast Absolutely. in ways that you can't when you're when they're reading and things like that, which I think are a great medium as well. So Joey, I, you know, if, if folks are listening and they're thinking, okay, this sounds great, but I don't have a podcast. I'm not sure how to share my story. How can they reach you? What should they do to get in touch? Oh, I got you. I got you. Uh, you can go to bit.ly slash GPCT sign up or holler at me at LinkedIn. Joey held. It's very easy. Eight letters and a space in between. Okay. Uh, Super simple. And I, I love chatting all things podcasting, storytelling, anything like that. So reach out to me. Fantastic. Thank you so much for being on. Awesome. Thanks, Nettie.